The government can never, under any circumstances, censor any book, period, or anything that you have to say, period. A Florida school district has pulled 176 books from its libraries to comply with the new state education reform law championed by Governor Ron DeSantis. Well, we want to turn now to the sharp rise in book bans in America's schools and libraries. A recent study found hundreds of books, mostly focused on LGBTQ themes or racial issues, have now been forbidden We're turning now the to country. yet another CBS state that's ramping Hunter up its anti-LGBTQ legislation. Montana is now the first state to ban people dressed in drag from reading books to children in public venues like libraries. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, yeah, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. It provides a space when you may not have space. Books can do that for you. If only a certain type or a certain set of people have access, it's it's just, it's not fair one, but it creates a, a divide within our society of who uh, gets to have um, certain knowledge and who is less than. Uh, my name is Jolly Goyle. I am the Chief of Ser Public Services here at San Francisco Public Library. Maybe over 15 years now. And as a librarian, my view is that every book has value to someone. We have no right to impede the reading, learning, or experience level of anybody who wants to read. My name is Barbara Somerville, and I have had a very interesting life. I am a lifetime learner. I am an educator. I'm a writer. Uh, I crochet really nice blankets. Follow the kid. Follow the kid on the floor if they're little. Go with what they are good at and what they want to do and what, they, what books they like to hear. Go with them. I am Susan Andrews. My career since college has been in education. Got a master's degree in early childhood education and started a preschool in Inverness, Marin County, California. I was um, asked to help start a school for kids with autism. So I joined up. I said, well, I'll come to a meeting, and I ended up staying. And we started a school for kids with autism. So I moved back to the city, and I became the head teacher at a multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary, I suppose, preschool. Integration is really essential for one of the main essential things for kids to experience them. And if you don't, if you live in Dubuque, Iowa, or somewhere where there isn't much differentiating color, there's other ways to get at it. With books that aren't banned, My name is Summer LaFleur and I am a high school senior. I have had a passion for social justice for 
as long as I can remember. I've just kind of always had a passion for it and I think I owe a lot of that to my parents because they read to me a lot when I was little. I think just the accumulation of all of those different stories and perspectives really caused me to love that. Start with the, the GoPro Hero 5 Black. Um, everything's turned out really well so far. With every project I've dived into, the results have been as good as I was hoping for, or even better. If you guys have ever been to Cora and seen their cheese selection um, out in France, it's huge, and that has been my experience with different types of education. I have gone to an international school in Tokyo. I've been to a few DoDIA schools, Department of Defense Education, abroad in Germany. I've been to a well-funded public school in DC. Been to a Christian private school in Texas as well. I've had two years of experience in an American public high school. Pretty nice one, it was pretty cool. But this is my second year at a private school up here in Truckee. I've been the one on the ground experiencing all of these different ways of living, ways of teaching. I've smelled a lot of cheese and now I'm excited to eat it.